let's continue so sometimes we think that you know sometimes you think that no one is watching god is watching god sees what you do in private and he will reward you i was so disappointed at my younger sister even my parents they ignored me totally on our wedding day they did not even ask how i was doing during our wedding after the wedding my dad was asking me that i did not see you in some aspects of the wedding my dad was expecting me to tell him that i was crying no 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 i was smiling i was at the mall helping my twin sister to buy a flower crown for our daughter because my niece um no she was the flower girl so my dad was expecting me to be down but god surprised him i was up i was happy running errands during the wedding helping the guests in fact the guests were shocked at my behavior like i was smiling and not crying it is god like it is god that gave me the grace to be joyful and help them out with a smile on my face in fact the guests at the wedding saw my positive attitude and they were like praying for me even my dad's sister my auntie her husband who lives in texas saw me at the wedding and he told me you have a good spirit hmm don't get it twisted this is god's spirit it's not by my power it is by god's power it is god helping me to keep a positive attitude it's not me so god put my dad to shame when i gave him an answer he did not expect he was expecting him to say that i was all worked up in, at the wedding but god surprised him because god gave me his positive spirit to get through my younger sister's wedding side note when i was at the mall i did not i did not even know what flower crown to buy for my niece so i bought a lot in the hope of returning it after the wedding that means i spent a lot so as i got to the hotel for the church wedding guess what i realized it was not needed again wow the devil wanted to make me sad but God helped me not to be sad. So I held on to the receipt and planned to return the flower crowns later. So as I was, so like right now, as I'm speaking to you, the flower crowns are still in my parents' house. Like I never got the chance to return it. When God told me to leave my parents' house, it was sudden. So the truth is that I am not unhappy, like I would rather lose money on the flower crown than go back to my parents' house to get it. Because the moment they see me, they will try to stop me from sharing God's testimonies online. Because you know, God helped me to escape from them and made sure our paths never crossed. Even after some months, after I left my parents' house, I was at the mall. I sighted my dad from afar. I mean, Holy Spirit told me that is your dad. Look at, I saw his back, like his clothes, his cap. I mean, I was like, oh my God, that's my dad. Hmm. God told me to leave immediately before my dad forces me to come home with him and make me stop sharing God's testimonies online. Also, during my younger sister's wedding, we all stayed in a hotel because the wedding was in a hotel. My twin sister was in another hotel during my younger sister's wedding. So I would wake up early to go to our hotel and pick her up. I remember when I was in the elevator at my twin sister's hotel. So I was carrying the car seats of our two kids so I could put them in my car. Guess what? As I got out of the elevator, my phone fell. It almost entered the elevator shaft. Hmm. God protected my phone. Like people in the elevator was like, they were like, oh, you are so lucky. No, no, no. Hmm. This is not luck. This is a miracle. Eh? My phone. Hmm wanted to enter the elevator shaft you know that small hole in the elevator you know that if my phone entered hmm, my like i would need the elevator repair to bring my phone now that's if they were available 
and it, that's if I even had the time to do it because I was supposed to put the car seat in the car, then go back upstairs, bring my um, bring the kids down, my twin sister, uh, because we had so much to do on the, on the wedding day. So God protected my phone. God is so kind. Like immediately that happened, I knew that was a miracle. I mean, my phone contained meditation verses to help me get through the wedding. The devil wanted me to lose my phone, but God did not allow it to happen. God is so kind and awesome. God seriously saved me during my younger sister's wedding. Also, during my twin sister's wedding, after the wedding, like the house was a mess. The living room had makeup, like makeup on the rugs. So... The kitchen was full of plates, pots, the garage was so dirty. So God taught me how to clean the house. He said I should rest for the first week after the wedding. And God gave me strength. God said, take each day at a time. So on Monday after work, I focused on washing the plates in the kitchen. They were so much. Then on Tuesday after work, I focused on washing the pots in the kitchen. Then on Wednesday after work, I focused on cleaning the remaining parts of the kitchen like that was how the kitchen was clean like god taught me to take each day at a time to clean the house because i was so overwhelmed like hmm. and god said he would do it with me like i should play christian songs sermons while i was cleaning before i knew it the kitchen was clean then the next place was the garage so messy god helped me to clean it then the living room, God helped me to call someone to remove the makeup that stained our rug. It was not easy, but God helped me. So, hmm. Because my so because um so first of all, when my younger and when my twin sister got married, like my younger sister was living in the dorm. No, before we would split the house chores, but now the house chores fell only on me i was so overwhelmed but god said he would do the house chores with me and god did it with me with christian music so he did not let me to be bothered and worried god is so kind another one advice for parents hmm. stop trying to cause envy among your kids stop trying to pray about the progress of your kids in a manipulative way to make your other kids feel terrible about their lives stop comparing your kid with other kids like that is so wrong also if you want to pray about your other kids progress pray privately on your own and not in family prayer so you won't make your other kids feel terrible like this is the reason why siblings hate each other then parents are wondering why you shouldn't wonder why you caused it you caused envy among them if not for god's grace and power i would hate my sisters but god helped me to pray for them instead also god helped me to get through my parents manipulative prayers concerning my siblings it did not make me go crazy and do something stupid like it did not make their manipulative prayer make me marry the wrong man like I was thinking of marrying my ex fiance to escape from my parents' manipulative prayers, but God told me it was a bad idea. The ex fiance was not good for me. In fact, my ex fiance would be comparing me with my twin sister. Also, it would say stupid things like, oh, you know, like he thought that I was with him because my twin sister was getting married. So he would say, if your twin sister buy a house, don't say you want a house too. I was like, what? <laughs> I was surprised he said that to me like that showed what he thought of me i thought to myself how can i marry someone that thinks so low of me how can he think i'm marrying him because of my twin sister is getting married i was with him because i thought it was god that brought him to me because as soon as i prayed that god should give me a spouse my ex fiance showed up and thank god for the red flags and confirmation God told me, no, the ex fiancé, this ex fiancé is not for me. God saved me from him. We'll continue the next video.